Now we have Mahabir Poon, connected remote villages in Nepal, Himalaya with Wi-Fi and other wireless technology. <laughs> Thank you very much for inviting me to speak, and thank you. I would like to thank you all for you know inducting me in the Hall of, Hall of Fame. I did not invent anything. I am not an innovator. And the the only thing I did is you know in early 2000, you know when the Wi-Fi was just coming, you know I used the simple indoor router to make a long-range you know wireless link. Uh, 40 kilometer link to bring internet in my home village. That was the starting. Uh, I did not know that time much about the technology itself. I could not have done everything without the you know help of this uh, undergraduate university students from America and Europe. Uh, it was a time you know, when it was illegal, the government had to ban, had banned to use all kind of wireless equipment and bring it into the country because of the fighting going there. So those university students, undergraduate students, they helped me to smuggle everything, <laughs> all these, you know, the small indoor routers to the country. And they helped me to, you know, build. I work as a team leader for them, but you know, without their help, you know, I could not have done that. We, you know, used a small indoor router and uh, built uh, our own antennas, different type of antennas, and became able to uh, build the long-range, you know, link, wireless link, and and uh, it was very surprise to most of these, you know telecommunication engineers, professionals, you know, because they thought that it would not work, uh, and, uh, but that work. So I would like to thank those friends uh, from the early days also. You know, I worked for four years from 2002 to 2006, building, you know, wireless network in the remote areas. And most of these areas, they don't have any roads and they don't have any uh, telephones, you know, electricity. I, I work illegally. I, we built the you know, network illegally and brought the internet there and I introduced it to the schools and the communities. So in 2006, I went to the, you know, member of parliaments and I gave them, you know, a presentation telling them what you know, we did uh, to bring internet in the, in the remote areas. And uh, I told them how it is useful for the people in the remote areas as well. So that's, and I asked them to legalize it. So within a week, you know, they legalized the network and they legalized, they, they de-licensed, you know, 2.4, and uh, 5.8 gigahertz frequencies, so it's illegal now. So we are using 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz to build wireless network in the remote villages where no commercial providers are going because it is not feasible, financially feasible for the commercial providers to go in the remote areas and provide it, you know, provide an internet service and bring that in the benefit of the technology for the rural people, and that's what I am doing. And uh, I hope that this award will help me to, you know, convince the government to do more to introduce the uh, technology in, in the area and for the benefit of the, especially for the people who are, you know, at the bottom of the pyramid. So I am not only advocating with the government for open and free internet. I am advocating with the with the government to make you know the internet available freely. Also, because the people cannot afford to simply cannot afford to have it. So for that, 
what I am advocating with the government is to use the universal obligation fund to provide the free internet for the people in the rural areas and bring the benefit of the technology there. Thank you very much.